What's up everybody? I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset and welcome back to our new Monday segment. Investing your money is the secret key or blueprint or plan to become wealthy. You've heard everybody talk about that before. But there's one little disclaimer with that. You have to invest your money successfully if you want to become wealthy. Like if you invest your money every single month but you're losing money every time you invest, you're not gonna become wealthy that way. Investing your money has risks. Like you're never guaranteed to make money when you invest. And no matter how experienced and knowledgeable you are as an investor, you will have periods and times where you lose money. I mean, that's part of the process. There will be times where you make money and there'll be other times where you lose money, but the goal is to make a whole lot more money than you lose. Now, what if I told you that there's a way for everyday people to invest their money and get a guaranteed return on it? And not just that, you will be getting a guaranteed 16% return on your money year after year. You'd probably say something like, just breathe, you gotta be crazy, that's not possible. I mean, the average stock market and real estate return is something like seven to 10% a year, and that's not even guaranteed. So how are you gonna get a guaranteed 16%? That doesn't make any sense. Well, to help me explain how it works, here I have Mark Cuban, the shark from Shark Tank, because he is actually the one that went around talking about how the average person can get a guaranteed 16% return on your money. So let me jump right into this article. This article is from Market Watch, and Mark Cuban explains how you can get a 16% return on your money. If you watch Shark Tank, you know who Mark Cuban is. I am a big fan of Mark Cuban. I like Mark, uh, what's his name? Kevin O'Leary a little bit better because of how blunt he is, but I like Mark Cuban too. And what Mark Cuban says is the way that the average person can get a guaranteed 16% return on your money is by paying down your credit card debt early because when you pay down your credit card debt, you are essentially getting a guaranteed return on your money because when you pay off your credit card debt, you don't have to pay this debt or this interest to your bank anymore and you get to keep that money in your pocket. So it's essentially a guaranteed return on your money. And in this article, I highlighted the green parts, which is what I wanted to show you. It says that the total credit card debt is something around $1 trillion. It says 944 billion here. And the average US household has over $6,900 worth of credit card debt. Almost $7,000 per household of credit card debt alone. And as we all know, credit card debt is very, very, very expensive. I mean, over here it says that the average interest rate on credit cards is 15.96%, just under 16%. People are fighting in the stock market and in real estate to get close to a 10% annual return. Here, if you pay down your credit card debt early, you can get a guaranteed 16% return on your money and sometimes even more with those higher APR credit cards. And let me show you why this is so important. So I have another article here from CNBC, which says that 55% of Americans with credit cards have credit card debt. That means that the majority of people with credit cards, which is a lot of people, a lot of people carry credit cards, have credit card debt. The majority of people are using credit cards wrong. I made a previous video where I talked about why I only use a credit card to make my purchases and why I only use a credit card because of the perks that I get for using a credit card. But the thing about credit cards is you should only be using a credit card if you are a smart spender and you have smart financial habits. If you go and use a credit card and you overspend and now you have to pay interest on that money, now anytime you buy something, you're gonna pay twice as much to own it just because you financed this purchase with your credit card because you didn't have the money to buy it in cash up front. It's really kind of ironic when you think about it because you didn't have the money to afford this pen in the first place. And so instead, you buy this pen with a credit card. And now because you didn't have the cash or money to afford this pen, you have to pay twice as much to own this pen because you don't have the money in the first place. I've talked about how paying interest to your credit card company is a form of an idiot tax of people being financially uneducated. And this is exactly why. You don't have the money to afford this thing that doesn't pay you, that you don't need, that you can't afford it. So you buy it with money that's not yours and now you have to pay this extra money to afford things when you don't have the money to buy it in the first place. By the way, if you wanna watch that idiot tax video or my other credit card videos, I'll link those in the description below so you can watch after this video. From an investment perspective, I 100% agree with Mark Cuban here. 
If you have any sort of credit card debt, you should absolutely not be worried about trying to invest in the stock market or investing in real estate or making other forms of passive investments until you pay down your credit card debt and pay off your credit card debt completely first because it does not make sense to make money and then try to get a 8% or 9% or 10% return on your money from the stock market or real estate when you have to turn around and pay 16% to your credit card company. Pay down your credit card debt first and then come back and now learn about how you can do this other type of passive investing with the stock market or real estate. Now for those of you who are looking for ways to make the best money decisions possible, we created the Minority Mindset Newsletter, which will keep you up to date on what's happening in the finance and business world and not only do we tell you what's happening in the finance and business world, but we teach you how this financial news affects your wallet. This way, you can make smart financial decisions. This newsletter is completely free and you can subscribe to it by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. Now that you've heard my thoughts on this, I want to hear your thoughts. Is this a good way for somebody to start investing and do you agree with Mark Cuban here or not? Let me know why and why not in the comments below. Me and my team read every single comment that we get. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling!